Hello guys and welcome back to Helix Academy's channel. In this question, we're going to solve for x and this is an exponential equation. It is a little tricky because um, if I actually simplify this as 2 to the x minus 2 to the negative x equals 2 by cross multiplication, uh, we know how to do that, right? So by doing that, we can actually write this statement. Now this statement looks like it can't be factored out. So let's say if I did try to factor out a 2 to the x, I will be left with a 1 for the first one. And the second term, which is 2 to the negative x, if I divided that by 2 to the x, that's basically just multiplying the first statement by the reciprocal of the second statement. So I will just have um, equal to the same base, so I'm gonna write two, and then it would be minus x, minus x, um, the powers are going to be added, so I will have two to the power of negative two x. Now, um, that doesn't really help me, because if I have minus two to the negative two x equals to two, I still can't simplify the power because my goal is to have 2 on each of the equation equal to the same power or something so I can figure out x, right? Therefore, this method is not going to work. Now, when this happens and I can't really figure out what to do, I'd like to substitute, use the substitution method. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, use a different color, actually. Let's do orange, and then I'm going to let a be equal to 2 to the x. So let's see if that's going to make it look better. And then I have a to the negative 1 equals to 2. Now basically, I can write this as a fraction. a to the minus 1 is just 1 over a, and that equals to 2. Now the next thing I want to do here is to take the common denominator, so I'll have a, and then on top I'll have a squared minus 1 equals to 2. This is starting to look like quadratic, so um, I'm sure you could see it. I'm going to rewrite this here. I have a squared minus 1, so by cross multiplication I will have a squared minus 1 times 1, which is just a squared minus 1, equals 2 times a, which is 2a. All right, so I'm just gonna write everything on one side and make it look like a real quadratic. Now, it, this can't be factored easily because there are no two numbers that will give me negative one and give me negative two as their addition, right? Um, if I have negative one times negative one, um, it won't be, it will give me negative two if I add them, but if I multiply them, it will give me a negative number. So therefore, I'm going to write and use my quadratic equation, which is negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, and hope that it will work over 2a. Okay, so in this case, what is my a? a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 1. So I'm just going to substitute everything in negative b is just going to be 2 plus minus b squared is negative 2 to the power of 2, so that's 4, minus 4 times a, which is just 1, times c, which is negative 1. And then in the denominator, I'll have 2 times 1, which is just 2. So simplify that, and you have 2 plus minus over here you have 4 times 1, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So that's pretty much a square root of 8. And since 8 is just 2 to the power of 3, I could write that as 2 square root of 2, right? Um, we know how to do that. I'm just going to explain that quickly here. So 2 to the power of 3, it can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 2 times 2. And then you can take this guy outside of the square root and cancel the 2's here. And then you can write 2 square root of 2. I trust that you guys are in grade 12 so you could actually do this, but I wanted to just go over it quickly. Okay, so then I have a denominator of 2 here, which is going to help me simplify these 2's together. So I will be left with 1 plus minus square root of 
2. So that is what a is equal to. So I have two possibilities for a. Therefore, I have two possi possibilities for 2 to the power of x. So then I'm going to write 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 2, or 2 to the power of x equals to 1 minus square root of 2. Now, in order to do this one, uh, we need to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to use a different color here. So log of this side and log of this side. And when I take the log of both sides, um, this x can be moved to the back, so I can have log x log of 2 equals log of 1 plus square root of 2. And then therefore x is going to be equal to log of 1 plus square root of 2 over log of 2, which you could actually plug into your calculator I'm going to do here, um, which is going to be 1.27. And you can do the same thing for this guy. So x is going to be equal to log of 1 minus square root of 2 over log of 2. So since 1 minus square root of 2 is going to be a negative number, and if you actually take the square root of 2, it's 1.4 something, so it will be a negative number. And you guys know that you can't take a logarithm of a negative number. Therefore, this won't be a possible answer. Therefore, my x is 1.27, and it will satisfy my original equation. You can actually check that by plugging 1.27. So I can check that for you here. 2, 1.27 minus 2.27. That should equal 1. It's actually going to give you 0 0.99, which is going to be rounded up to 1. Perfect. There you have it. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, you can click on our website. You can book a tutoring session or you can email your questions to us and one of our tutors might be able to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.